Hey guys, so I'm getting ready to make some gender reveal um, buttons. So I've already seen, but I'll show you guys how I make the buttons, okay? So let me try to adjust the camera down so that you guys could see. Okay, so, all right, here's one that I'm not finished with. So what I did was I painted the little round wooden circles i painted it gold and then i put the um orange pumpkin on here and then it says teen and i'm getting ready to put girl on there so i'll show you guys which you guys know from the last video how i do it so i'm gonna use the transfer tape put it on there Kind of scrape the back like that there and then pull it up slowly so that it sticks on so it sticks on to the transfer tape and then I'll place it where I want it to go kind of rub it in a little bit all right then okay then I'll just pull it off like that and then there you have it so then I'm going to take these little pins that I got they're called bar pins let me put the camera back up so y'all can see okay so they're called bar pins and it's the little pins here that looks like that so I'm going to take it and then also I will take my glue gun and then Make sure I'm facing it the right way. I want to face the um, pin the right way. Hold on, y'all. Okay. So, yeah, it's the right way. So, then I'll take it, the glue gun, and then I'll just put some glue down here on the back of the wood circle. And then I'll just place the pin on top like that okay so once I'm done then this is what it'll look like once I'm done okay so now um okay so what I'm doing is team girl so for the orange pumpkin is team girl and then for the gold pumpkin the gold pumpkin is team boy so we know the gold is team boy and the orange is team girl so I'm going to go ahead and continue putting the pins on all of the on the back of all of them Okay guys, so I'm done with putting the buttons together. So I don't want it to be too, okay, hold on y'all. Okay, so this is the button, okay, for team boy. And then the team girl button, uh oh, sorry. And the team girl button. So I'm done, okay, so I'll put these on the table uh, at my cousin's gender reveal and then you just pick out the orange or the gold, whichever one you choose. So yeah, so that's the project that I've been working on today. And then I was getting ready to do something else, y'all. Um, oh, let me show y'all something else I did. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so I also did this little jar and I got this jar from uh, Dollar Tree and I put on their Q-tips. So I'm gonna put my Q-tips in here and then I put the little bling around it and I painted the top that gray color 
to match my bathroom. Take the top off and bam, there you have it. So I got it for the Q-tips and also I got one uh -oh, for the cotton balls as well. So once I'm finished decorating and everything with my bathroom, I'll let you guys see the final look. But yeah, that's that. So, okay guys. So now I'm getting ready to, I think, um, do my basket. Okay. All right. See you guys in a minute. Okay, so now I'm gonna work on my, put my basket together. So, as you can see, I put my name in the front of the basket. It's just a little basket I got from Dollar Tree. And then I have all my little stuff and stuff to stuff the basket already in there. All right, so it's like the little crinkly papers and stuff like that okay so then I'll take the mug I'm gonna stick that right in the middle there in the front and then the journal I'll stick the journal here like that and then I'll take the cup, the tumbler, whatever it's called, sit that there. And then the candle, and I think I'll sit the candle here, like that. I think I need to put this a little more little higher that candle smells so good okay and then I'll take my little bottle of Chardonnay and then I'll sit that right here to the side so that's it I don't have anything else to put in it right now so just like that No, no, no. I may get something to go right here in this little corner because it seems it's missing something. Or I'm going to have to re-fix it. I don't know. I'll figure it out though. But I thought this is really cute. Oh, and maybe put a little bottle of hand sanitizer maybe in there. Nah, no, that's okay. I'm not gonna put that, but yeah, so that's it. It's just I'll fix it a different way. It looks really nice right here, it's hard to see it on camera, but yeah. All right, guys, so that'll be it for that. I'll catch up with you guys later. Okay, guys. So, I'm getting ready to make the soup. And the ingredients that I'm going to use for the soup will be um, jalapenos, green um, onions, white onions, um, cilantro, um, what is this, uh, fresh garlic, um, celery and onions, and that's what's in here as well. Um, avocado, limes, and then the vegetable stock, to, uh, tomato paste, and then of course the shrimp. Hot. And then I'm gonna pour some oil into my pot to cover the bottom of the pot. Sorry, y'all. Just something to cover the bottom of the pot. And then I'm gonna put my 
my fire. Sorry, y'all. Uh, the fire on uh, medium heat. Okay. Okay, guys. So in the pot that I have over here on the stove with the olive oil in it, I'm gonna take the shrimp, the shells of the shrimp, and I'm gonna um, I'm gonna put it in here. The shells of the shrimp.
show you guys what it's looking like. Hold on. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. So that's the onions, the um, celery, the jalapenos, and the carrots. So this is what it's looking like. And then afterwards, after this um, come to a boil, then I'll add in the shrimp. Okay, guys. So this is the way that my shrimp soup came out. It looks really good, and but this is the way it looks. So tell me what you guys think. Angela. 
Hey guys, this is the end of the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.